Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to find your system specifications or specs on your Windows PC without downloading anything. And one of the easiest ways to just see everything is by going down to Windows and go to Settings right here. Go to System on the left and then go on down to where it says About. Now under here, we can look at the top and we have our storage capacity. Our graphics card, 8 gigabytes, and I got the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 Super. Still doing well with that. Installed RAM, 48 gigabytes, the speed right here. And then the processor. And here's my uh, baseboard right here, or my motherboard name, B450M DS3H. And then I got my processor, my installed RAM device ID, etc. So I got all this information under here. Now, to get a better understanding, if you're maybe upgrading, uh, go to Task Manager. And it's very easy to see any kind of bottlenecks on your PC. So if you have anything maxing out at 100%, you probably have an issue with that. Now, with RAM or memory, you can close down a bunch of different software and don't start it up with your PC. If you go to Startup Apps, just disable as much as you can you don't use. But uh, if something is maxed out 100%, you probably have some sort of bottleneck and it could be beneficial to upgrade. So let's go on down to performances now. And under here, uh, we can see a lot of information about like our memory, our GPU, etc. So if we look in the top right, when we're under our CPU, we can see the name of the CPU, our current speed and utilization, uh, base speed 3.6 and then other information depending on what you're looking for. And then here's the memory, 48 gigabytes. And then uh, we have the speed, 2133 MTS. And then uh, we can look at our hard drives, our disk drives, or SSD. So I have an SSD SATA, PNY CS900, one terabyte SSD. And then we can look at the, does it show the speed down here? I don't see the speed. But here's my NVMe. This one's currently working. And then we got our GPU once again right here. And we can see the amount of dedicated memory for a GPU. And this is very easy just to see everything under here. Now, another thing that you can do is go to search and go to system information and open this up. And then if we go to system summary, we can see our motherboard. Uh, manufacturer, Gigabyte Technology. So if you ever need to update your BIOS, go to this website, type in the baseboard product, B450M, and then we can see like our installed RAM and stuff under here. Uh, we can go to hardware resources and look at the different categories for this to uh, maybe memory or something like that. <laughs> if you want to look at that, but we got our different components, uh, our display, we want to see this. Um, I don't know what you're looking for specifically, but we got storage drives. So I can go into my driver information a little bit more and I can see the total memory for this, uh, the volume seal serial number, the file system, etc. Uh, I got my USB ports on here. I can look at these um, software environment system drives. So this can give you some information too about what you're looking for. Now, I do have this one software. It's called CPU-Z on my computer that I downloaded, and it's really good. So if you ever have any more information that you quite just can't find uh, with just the default software on your computer, you can go to CPUID.com and get this software, CPUID. And I'll show you why this could be beneficial. CPUID.com, download right here for Windows cpuid.com and the reason why you might want this is maybe you're upgrading something and uh, maybe you're upgrading the cpu and you want to know the socket type so i can see the socket type for my cpu right here socket am41331 so you won't be able to really find that anywhere uh, or you could just google your name of the cpu then we have the motherboard name right here uh, memory, this is a good one to know too, DDR4 or DDR5. Maybe you're upgrading your memory 
it's good to know which type you have. Otherwise, you could be getting the wrong type. And then we got the frequency, the speed right here. And then I think you have to double this to get the actual uh, speed. And then we got the SPD. We can go by each uh, memory slot too. You can see my Corsair one is different than my slot two for my um, RAM sticks. And then we got the graphics card under here. Here's the manufacturer, Zotan or Zotac or whatever. So yeah, hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel down below.